you can call me Danny and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a get ready with me and uh, it's been a while since we've done a get ready with me and it's been a while since I've uploaded a video and during this get ready with me I kind of want to explain where I've been, what I've been doing, and why I've been gone for a bit. So I'm not really going to go into depth of what products I'm going to be using. Uh, I'll try to link things down below if you are interested and if you don't see the link just leave a comment about uh, things you're interested in and I will find it for you. Um, but right now this video is just to kind of do like an explanation because I was off for a little while and then I came back on uh, and I explained why for that one and then I was gone again and now this was my first video back again so a lot of things kind of just happened uh, my first break you guys know I got a new camera and a new laptop which was amazing I am really excited for both of those and I wasn't sure how to work my camera to my laptop so all the footage that I recorded on that camera I wasn't able to upload it into my laptop because I didn't know how and that stuff I'm still trying to figure it out so that's why um, all my videos have still been like kind of the same as they used to be but that's for that first reason for that and then after that I kind of got in like a slump of things I I, I don't really want to say I got depressed, but in a way, I I just got really down on myself. If you don't know, I struggle with a lot of disorders. First diagnosed at age 14 with depression, anxiety, and bipolar disorder at age 16. And I, I guess I just had one of my like bipolar disorder attacks and I was just really down on myself and I kind of just felt like I had no purpose and things like that and I'm a lot better now and I wasn't necessarily suicidal but um, my doctors were really worried about me and they thought that my thoughts would soon turn to suicidal thoughts because when I initially told them what I was thinking, um, what I would dream about or like what I would just think about in my, my off time if I wasn't doing anything. Because you know how like sometimes if you're not doing things then you just randomly, you know, just think about stuff. Well, in my off time, if I wasn't keeping my mind occupied, I would just think about like, you know, if I took my foot off the brake in the middle of a red light and if I, you know, just started walking in the middle of the street, you know, when the light was, wasn't on to walk, you know, and the cars were driving by and things like that, you know? And I was joking a lot to my friends about saying how, like, I wish I was dead and how, like, like, please, someone just kill me now already because I know me as a person, I would I would never be able to actually go through with harming myself and people got um, worried about me. And so then I did a in-call to my doctor and they, had me admitted into the hospital and I had to be there for a few days and they put me on suicide watch and honestly I was angry at them and also myself a little bit Ma okay majority I was angry at myself because I'm a person who is always who likes to always be happy and doesn't like to tell other people my problems because then it becomes their problems majority of the times you know what I'm saying and even if it is my doctor or you know like counselors or whatever where it's their job to like I have this mentality where since you know they're being paid 
to do this, you know, they don't care about me. They're counselors. This is what they went to school for. This is their job. They get a paycheck at the end of the day for listening for what I do, you know? So I, I don't like counselors. I hate counselors or psychiatrists or anything like that. I have been asked multiple times to meet one. And I have, like, I seriously tried to, you know, get a counselor or a psychiatrist and meet with one and try to talk about things, you know, because y'all, <laughs> I got a messed up past, honestly. But every time, you know, I just, once I step in that office, I'm just like, there's no point. They're like, I could tell them everything, but they're not gonna remember me. Like, they're not gonna remember my name. They're not gonna remember exactly what I'm going through until they look back into my file when I have to come back, you know what I'm saying? And that's just the mentality I have. And um, like, I don't, this, I like, I always encourage others to do counseling. Like, like it doesn't work for me, but I pray and hope it works for you. I have tried, I would say maybe about four or five counselors slash psychiatrists in my life because after my surgery, I had to get a counselor for my, after my surgery because I dealt, and I'm still dealing with, I should say, with a lot of body dysmorphia because that happens after you have this surgery and they thought it would be intensified because I'm a lot younger than normal people who have this surgery. And I would say they're probably right. Um, but you guys know I'm really into body positivity. And you know, I love my body no matter what size it is or what size it was. And they really wanted me to see a counselor and a support group and things like that. But I ended up not doing it because, you know, like I said, I every time I went, I just had this mentality that, you know, they're getting paid for this. So. I stopped going and I just told my counselor I was going, but I, or not my counselor, my doctor that I was going, but I, I wasn't. At first they didn't want to release me, but I convinced them because I, you know, I have a job, I have a house to take care of, I have dogs to take care of, and you know, I have a life that I really need to get back to. And even though sometimes I think, you know, like what's the point? Like I have no purpose or things, you know, I still have a life. Like I still have things that need me to be there, like my dog and my boyfriend and my family, you know? So of course that's what keeps me going obviously. And so I told them that, you know, just up my medicine, I'll be good to go, I promise. Like I promise you I'm not suicidal. I don't want to do anything to myself. It's, I'm just in one of my depression moods. And so then they upped my medicine. Uh, they had me promise to check in with them every few days. And then now I have to visit them like every week and so. And I have the option to do like voice calls or stuff like that. So that's good. At least I don't need to visit the hospital because you guys know I hate the hospital. Um, and then all throughout that time, I was also in my way to getting full time at one of my jobs. And if you guys remember during my Vlogmas, I got a second job at a another store. Uh, I would say if, I don't wanna like out where I work, <laughs> but I got a job at a makeup retailer and you know, you guys know like I love makeup. I've been doing it for a long time. And I used to work at a first, I don't, ooh, ooh, that got in my mouth. <laughs> I used to work at, at the competitor's retailer that I work at now. And um, I, they had a lot of disagreements with me um, about this channel and about like my social media platform and things like that. And they wanted to control it. And I didn't agree with that. I definitely, um, did not want that so that's why I had to leave 
And so with this new job, they actually put me in charge of their social media platform. And it's, it honestly is breathtaking because to know that one place wanted to control me and my personal social media platform made me leave well, I joined this other one, the competitor. Um, they believed in me, let me doing my own uh, social media stuff, where to the point that they believed in me so much that they want me to control theirs. And they trust in me to do theirs. And I was just so excited and happy that they let me do that. And that's where I knew that this is the place that I belonged. And so then when the time came, I asked if I could um, become full-time. And so then they came into like the paperwork and asked like the higher, higher ups if they had room to make me full-time. And so then I was kind of in the rocks of there because I was trying to become full-time here and kind of trying to wind down at the other job because I really didn't like that job. It was putting a lot of stress on me and it was in an environment that I just didn't like. And honestly, I don't know why I went there in the first place. But you know, after COVID and stuff uh, and I lost my first job, I had to find a job eventually because I'm not the type of person who can live off the, uh, what was it called? The unemployment, I, I couldn't do that. So I tried to find a job as fast as I could and I found one. But even though it ended up being at a place that I really don't enjoy, I stuck it out for a year and I'm really proud of myself for doing that. And I actually ended up staying till the end of my contract. And yeah, um, so that was a lot of pressure on me and it was really eating at me a lot. And all of this was happening at once. And so I didn't really have time to sit down and do my makeup or talk about makeup or do anything like that and actually enjoy it. I like, I would try. I had so many videos where I tried to and I would sit down and try to edit it. But then as I'm like looking at myself, I would be like, I don't look happy. I look like I'm being forced to do this. And I just, I just couldn't do that to you guys. Like, I'm not gonna put something out that I'm not proud of. I'm not gonna put something out that makes it look like I'm just doing this you know because obviously I do this for fun I do this because I love it I don't get paid to do this I don't get anything out of this besides just having the enjoyment of whoop, <laughs> the enjoyment of talking to you guys and just showing you guys how much I love makeup and helping you guys to enjoy makeup as well and that's the whole reason why I do this so while all this was happening with my mental health and with my jobs at the same time something happened to my stomach as you guys know I had stomach surgery about it's gonna be two years in December and uh, something happened to it where something got strained and we had to figure out what happened and how to fix it and things like that because Halfway through my recovery process, I had to stop taking a certain certain medication where it helped my fake stomach sort of, um, what's it called, where it kind of blends in with like my other intestines and things like that, or my other organs, there we go, my other organs and things like that. But I ended up being allergic to it, so I had to stop taking it, and we kind of just had to hope for the best. Um, and, you know, I ended up recovering nicely, and we thought, you know, everything was fine. And then I ended up getting sick after the surgery again. And then now this happened. And so then we thought it ended up being something that I ate that kind of like finally like stretch, not stretch, but like scratch my stomach too much. And so then I had to get some work done again and I had to stay in the hospital again. <sighs> <laughs> 
and it was it was rough you know and all this time I of course I told my job about this or I told my jobs about this but I never told my parents or didn't tell my friends or anything like that because I didn't want them to worry about me because you know I I already been through a lot um, with the surgery and I already put them through a lot with my surgery and things like that so I didn't want them to worry more about me because you know we already had a scare with the first surgery and I just didn't want to put that through them again <clears throat> and then <laughs> After, you guys can probably even tell right now, after all of this is finally over and like everything starts to settle, I finally get some great news <laughs> where uh, they found an opening for me at my job where I can go full time there and I can quit the my first job that I had and I can move on to full time. And it made me so happy. I was so, so excited. Um, I put in my two weeks at the other place and then I ended up being sick. I ended up getting a sickness while I was stuck in the hospital and uh, I was scared a bit and this time I did have to tell my family and I ended up having to get tested for COVID and I had to be uh, quarantine uh, but luckily I was not I wasn't positive for COVID I ended up being negative so that was really great I just ended up having like this weird like flu cold mixture and I'm still a little recovering right now but it's a lot better now so you guys can probably still hear it like my nose is still a little stuffy and I get like a little pain, a headache. But other than that, like it's a lot better now. Like before, I literally couldn't even put my glasses on or else my headaches would become like super intense or I couldn't stay awake for long periods of time. Like for two days, all I did was sleep. I probably stayed awake for like an hour altogether during two days uh, just to like eat some crackers and drink water and then I just pass out again. Like it was rough. <laughs> it was hard I will say guys and then now now everything is starting to calm down everything is starting to hopefully just sort of even out and be able to sort of go back to a nice comfortableness where I can balance everything out again because everything was sort of getting jumbled together because you know my two jobs I was juggling and then all of a sudden I got sick and then all of a sudden I was mentally ill like my depression decided to flare up my bipolarness decided to flare up and everything just started to attack me all at once and it was rough it was really hard and I will admit I was getting a little scared about everything and I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to make it through but I you know I kept pushing myself and now we're towards the end of everything I start my full time at my other job my, the one that I've been really wanting um, in September and then my last day at my other job is the 31st of not October <laughs> of August and so things are now finally starting to settle down. I'm feeling a lot better from my sickness. I am able to sit down and actually talk to you guys now, so that's really nice. And even right now, I'm actually getting ready. You guys might be thinking like, why are you getting ready again in the first place? I'm actually getting ready because it is mine and my boyfriend's six year anniversary. And yes, uh, we did have a break period during I would say two years ago, was it 2019? 2019 we had a break period because that was the time when I was going through my surgery process to get ready to get sur like get into my surgery. And also he was in the process of finishing like his two his like first two years of medical school. And that's like kinda hard because that's when you figure out 
it, like if you're actually meant to be in medical school and stuff like that. So it was a lot of pressure on him too. And so uh, we both decided that it was just best for us to take a break and things like that. But you know, we stayed in contact and he was actually with me throughout the whole um, surgery process. Uh, when I actually had my surgery, he was actually there the whole time. And when I was sick after the surgery, he stayed in the hospital room the whole time. He only left to go to classes and then he would come right back and he would actually study at my, um, at my bed. And it was very sweet. And this was all like before we even got back together. Then on New Year's, he spent New Year's with me uh, because I wasn't allowed to leave the house because I was still in recovery. And he stayed with me for New Year's while the rest of my family went to church and things like that. And that's when he asked me to be his girlfriend again and that he said that he's ready to stay together and and that this year made him realize that he couldn't live without me and things like that uh, because, you know, when I had my surgery, we weren't sure if I was gonna make it or not. And so he knew that once I was, once I was out and things like that, he knew that he needed to be with me and I felt the same way. And so we decided to get back together on New Year's Eve. And now we are going to celebrate our six years together today, actually. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. So we are still counting it as six years because even though we weren't together as a relationship type couple in that year, we were still very much in each other's lives. And so we'd like to keep it that way because we still saw each other. We still met with each other's family and things. We went to each other's family events and things like that. So yeah, we are still counting it as well. So yeah. <laughs> and we have a day planned together. So I'm just getting a little bit, you know, all dolled up for the day. I don't want to do too much. So I'm just doing, you know, like a light foundation and some bronzer and blush. I'm going to do some brows, obviously. My nose keeps melting off. Makes me want to... I hate when that happens, right? <laughs> but everything seems to finally be falling into place instead of, and the, instead of falling apart. So, you know, things, you just gotta, you know, let God take his time. Let, you know, everything just run its course and, you know, pray and hope that things just end up being okay, you know? And I know as someone who likes to be in charge, make sure likes to have everything set in place and have everything, you know, I guess organized as you can say. Uh, it was hard for me to just be like, um, well, I, what's gonna happen? <laughs> so it was pretty rough for me during the month of August. August was really testing me, I will tell you that. <laughs> But, you know, we're here. We are hopefully gonna start pushing through this together again. And I'm excited to get back to the videos, excited to do more reviews, do more things, because I'm really excited. I have a lot of bunch of videos lined up that I am putting together. And I'm really just excited in general just to really get back into this, get back into the groove, and just really like, I don't know, dive back in guys. I've missed you guys so much. I've missed making videos, I missed editing, and I'm just really excited to finally figure out how to work my computer <laughs> and figure out how to upload uh, from my camera to the computer. That's probably the most thing I am most excited about. And I really need to get like an air conditioner in here. It is hot with all these lights on me. Oh my gosh. Oof, it's making my nose sweat. I think this is just so a good reminder that you just need a break every once in a while because you know I I don't think I've missed a Friday for a, a long time except for I think the last time I missed a Friday was when I was going through recovery and of course it's not my fault 
well, I mean, I guess it is my fault, <laughs> but you know, I, tr I still try to upload every Friday when I was in recovery, even though I sh probably should have just been sleeping. <laughs> but your girl tried, you know? And so then, uh, it is so hard to talk about doing brows. Hold on, give me a second, guys. Okay, the brows aren't as good. I was hoping they would be, but honestly, they're not bad. Like, they're definitely not sisters. They're definitely not twins, but I mean, they could be worse. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's basically um, all I wanted you guys to catch up on. Um, there's nothing really much more that I wanted to talk about. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Not really. I'm just really excited to finally get uh, things back moving and, you know, get back into really doing what I love to do, which is doing makeup, talking to you guys, and just creating, you know, like fun videos for you guys. And yeah, and you know, I don't want you to think that being depressed or having to hide what you're feeling is something that you have to do or that you need to be through alone. Um, sorry. Just because counseling and um, psychiatrists don't work for me doesn't mean it's not going to work for you. I highly, highly, highly recommend for you to go check it out and find someone that works for you and to help you, uh, you know, help you go through what you're going through. And just because I don't have a counselor doesn't mean I'm going through this alone, you know? I still have my friends, I have my family members, and you know, I have Maya, who's my emotional support animal. She, she helps me through a lot. <laughs> Even though she can be a bully to me, <laughs> she actually helps me through a lot, and I, I honestly owe a lot to her, and I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing without her, and without my friends, and family, and all my loved ones. So I always recommend for you to seek help, or talk to someone if you really trust someone, or find someone to trust if you need to. And yeah, I guess that's the moral of today's video. It's just really make sure your mental health is okay. Try to balance out your life, you know? Um, I try to overwhelm myself because sometimes um, if I have too much time on my hands, I get in a depressive state. But sometimes I gotta remind myself that if I overwork myself too much, then things just start falling apart instead of putting a sustainable life in me, if that makes sense. So I would say, learn from my mistakes <laughs> and find a way to balance out your life. Make yourself happy first, put your mental health out first. And if you need to, take a break. Take a break from your job, take a break from friends, take a break from family if you need to, take a break in general, take a self vacation if you need to, turn off your phone, get off social media if you need to, you know, do what you gotta do and able to really put yourself back together. And if you need a little help, then go find some help, okay? There's nothing wrong with finding help and I fully believe in that. So um, that's it for this Get Ready With Me. I know I don't, I didn't finish my full face. I'm just gonna put on some mascara after this. And not sure if I'm gonna put a lipstick on because we are gonna be outside for the majority of our date. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. I might just put lip balm, when, you never know. <laughs> but that is the final look. Uh, it's a nice, just simple look today. I didn't wanna go all out because you know, it is gonna be really hot today and I just don't feel like being gross and makey and dealing with sweaty makeup. <laughs> All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below so I know. And if you're not already, subscribe to my channel. I will try to start posting every Friday again. And make sure to hit that bell notification so that you know when I upload on that Friday. Let me see here, comment down below on, hmm. Honestly, just comment anything. Comment hi. Say hello. Uh, tell me how your day is going. Tell me how you've been feeling this month. 
tell me what you're excited for in the next few months. You know, just say anything. Uh, I want to talk to you guys. I really want to get to know you more because we've gotten a lot more family members now and I really want to, you know, converse with each other. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you so, so, so much and I will see you next Friday.